So MCA here, thank you so much for those that are returning. Uh, for those, if it's your first time, if you enjoy this lesson, I do ask that uh, you give the entire lesson a shot. Uh, listen to it all the way through and if you enjoy the content you get here and the way that I break down this tutorial I do ask that you like this video share if you would like as well and please hit the subscribe button below I would love to have you be a part of this growing base community today we have a song called rain uh, let it rain by Sonny Badu uh, and the request comes from I believe it's Alvin Ouso uh, song is in starts in C sharp but before we can get there I need to make sure you can understand how we're playing together although we may be tuned differently so I'm tuned down a half step uh, if there's any confusion about that now it should be cleared up with my last video on uh, open string tuning I made one just for people that play like myself open tuned and sometimes we don't have a tuner around or I'm too lazy to go in the house at least now I can go to my own video and just tune my bass right there and then so video might have been more for me than you all I'm sorry uh, but I'm sure there's someone else out there that gets annoyed with having to find a standard tuning and then tune your bass that way to to tune it down anyway uh, my B my B string is a B flat E string is an E flat a string is a flat D string is a D flat and G string is a G flat also uh, just so you know by way of announcement the um, song requests are back open I will post that video here uh, somewhere along the top here and you can check that out for how you can submit a song uh, and and which songs or what types of songs I will be accepting so we're at C sharp now and we have our first note second note third note fourth note fifth note sixth note seventh note and our eighth note uh, as we go up in the song progression I will put the notes that we need only um, in the song yeah the, the notes and the corresponding numbers that we need in the song as we go up inside the video uh, also there aren't really any accidentals in the main progression. There are some accidentals we will use for uh, some fillers and some licks. Uh, those would be the flat third and the sharp five and the yeah, that, that's we already used that one flat third. So it's, I think it's only the flat third and the sharp five that we are going to need for our licks. So with no further ado, let's get to this tutorial. One, two, three. If this is your power, if this is your goal. part Get up a key, half step. Thank you. 
Take it up another half step. Another half step. Yeah, last one. I'm gonna end it here. This is your. Mm. Do believe that is the progression it goes to but that is the gist of the entire song so let's take it back down to c sharp and this is a good textbook based song uh, that you should definitely begin on these are the types of songs i liked when i was learning bass uh, this is the stuff that will build your vocabulary and teach you just solid foundations of bass. So we've got a, we're pulsing with the kick drum, boom, boom. And we're doing a pretty much like a major um, scale progression or half a progression, almost a whole progression, whatever. Um, and then there's some nice joining note things that are going on. So out of the rip, we've got this uh, bass slide. Uh, one, one, one. This is your two, 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 passing three, four, four, five, let it five, one. Then we got our first uh, big movement. Um, okay. Three, four, six, five, five, two, one, seven. And you're going to notice with a lot of these things, it's all about how your hands make the sound, right? Um, it's much different than, right? So I always tell y'all, hammer on wherever you can or slide. That's actually a little bend I'm doing. But I do it right off the pull off. And then uh, two, one, seven. Okay, so three, four, six, five, two, one, seven. Back to the one, this is a, back at the, the top of the verse. One, one, this is a, two, <laughs> two, two, I just really choir directed you. <laughs> pass. Oh, hold on, I, I'm missing something already. Sorry, y'all. Uh, this is the one, we're on the second pass now. One, one, this is the two bad habits open music director that's our next move okay so one 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 two 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 we know that we're going to the passing three so what he does is he just does uh, right after the second double on the kick drum two five sharp four four three two uh, one 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 two 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 Okay, make sure you get that nice and clean. Then the rest of the progression stays the same. Four, 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 five. Actually, it changes a little bit. Five, one, one, five, five, six, one, two, one, one, one. Uh, we're on the third pass right now. Okay, uh, one, one, one. The second you get off of that double one, 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 you're gonna do five, five sharp, six, three sharp, two, two, or three flat, three, two. Okay, one, 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 two, two, passing three, four, four, five, let it rain. One, 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 one. Then we're gonna go to the next part. Let it rain. Three, uh, three, 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 three. It's up. Two and three and four and one. It's an eighth note pulse. One, two, four, one. 
So three octave, four octave, five, six, seven, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, five, four, three, octave if you want to. Octave if you want to. And that's the pattern for the rest of the song. Now, mind you, he's throwing um, some licks in there. Two licks. He does the same type of lick twice uh, over two of the different um, inversions or modulations, sorry. And then he does one other lick, too. And I might put one of those licks in a lick lesson. Oh, maybe I'll make that my next video. Hmm. Maybe I will. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's your pattern. Three, four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. And it just keeps going up half steps. But when it goes up half steps, it goes three, four, five. Take it up to the new five of the new key. So now we're in um, D. Five, four, three. Back to that. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. Four, five. Pedal on the five when you're ready for the new key change. Now we're in E flat. Three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, three, uh, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. Four, new key, last key change. Five, 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 the new five in E. Now we're in E, five, four, three. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. Four, five, six, seven, five, four, three. You, you get it. I have no doubt that you get it. If you have any confusion about how those notes should be played, go back to the demo I did in the beginning. All right, so I need to go back to C sharp real quick for a piece of vocabulary I want to give you that I did in a demo and did not give you. Uh, we're at the let it rain. Three, four, five. Six, seven, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, five. I'm gonna do it again. Six, seven, five, four, three, two, one, five, four. Um, just a nice little sound and nice little sound and fill. I didn't want to leave out. That is uh, Sunny Badu. Uh, Sunny Badu. I did have the pleasure of playing for Sunny Badu once. Uh, <laughs> It was not my best performance, and I don't like to say performance, ministry. Uh, I got called in on the gig very late. I wasn't supposed to be the musician or the bass player that day. Uh, and I got a call about three hours before the gig, and I just changed my strings literally the night before because I did not anticipate playing that day. I didn't anticipate playing until that um, Sunday at my church. And the concert was on a Saturday, I believe. Or no, 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 no. The concert was on a Friday. And I just changed my strings on a Thursday, expecting to practice the next day, break them in a little bit, and go to service on a Sunday. And uh, I already played detuned on top of it, so strings weren't completely taking to the, the looser um, the looser setting at that point because I, I really didn't set them to play them immediately. There is a way to do that. Um, but I kind of set them like, okay, I'll just, you know, play around with them whatever and break them in a little and that did not happen so uh, the keyboardist was throwing some stuff at me and um my strings kept going detuned and it was just a bad experience overall but he is a amazing artist it will really take you in um and it was a learning experience for me and, and taught me some some more growth that i needed some more things that i had and i do like experiences like that because they teach you not every gig is going to be a good one for you uh, you got to learn somewhere, and that was the School of Hard Knocks, and I learned that day, and I made sure those weaknesses there are tightened up now, so if I get called on, that kind of stuff should not happen to me again. All right, y'all, I'm Soul MCA. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. God bless.